the problems of affordable housing, poverty, crime, health needs, drug dealers, decent jobs, gangs, violence, child care, education. Communities all over this state need help. It takes the community, it takes the city, it takes partners like New Jersey Community Capital who understand neighborhoods and understand the assets that are in these neighborhoods and want to build upon them. Those are the, the things that make it successful. Socially responsible investing is important for everyone. Social investing is investing for beyond personal financial gain. I think it's investing for uh, community gain, for community purposes, but also there is a personal benefit to that in the fact that you're doing morally the right thing. Socially responsible investing is critical. It's critical because people can start to vote with their dollars. Socially responsible investing spans a broad spectrum. It's screening for stocks and, and ensuring that things that you don't necessarily believe in, you don't invest in. I think in a key component of socially responsible investing is community investing. The Community Development Financial Institution is like a bank. We take in money as investments, not as deposits. We provide financing to a host of organizations that can't access capital in other markets. When I started on the board of New Jersey Community Capital, and it was known as the New Jersey Community Loan Fund back then, our primary focus was on affordable housing. Since then, we've expanded our focus to disabilities, uh, to uh, child care, and um, to charter schools. There's the Abbott Early Care, and then there's suburban early care. There's you know charter schools in urban areas and suburban areas. There's affordable housing in Newark and affordable housing in Maplewood. Um, while they're adjacent municipalities, it's different markets. People, when they invest money, want to get a return. And, and they don't naturally think about social return as opposed to financial return. You can do both. When you give your money away, you don't expect to get it back. When you invest it in New Jersey Community Capital, you can expect to get it back. And also, you can expect to receive a rate of return on your money. Social investing is where organizations, banks, people like New Jersey Community Capital, individuals say, you know what, I've done well and I want to give back to my community. You know, a $10,000 investment could be used many, many times over and it has, you know, a, a multiple effect. Getting that revenue into New Jersey Community Capital and online to the community, I think that's the biggest challenge that we're facing now. Educational projects are, are the most important thing that we need to fund, and I think for several reasons. Of course, um, education should be our highest priority. It is our future. It's the well-being of our communities. Everything from property values to crime rates is affected by the quality of education. So it's, it's just very important in that way. For anybody wanting to have an impact on a city, on a neighborhood, good education will probably have the greatest impact. It attracts people. It gets them involved. It creates a sense of commitment. Um, provides lots of opportunities for children. Because the environment is just so safe that you don't have to worry about anything else. You can just worry about your education. It's very fun to go to school and also the teachers are very encouraging. In this school I get more attention and the other schools I wasn't and I always used to be like bad because I didn't get the attention that I needed. We're getting more and more kids from our immediate vicinity who are coming here and treating it as a neighborhood school. Um, we have real estate agents stopping by because they're selling houses in the area and they find that having the school in the neighborhood makes it easier to sell houses and increases property values. Newbridge's effort in uh, developing affordable housing really began listening to the parents of loved ones. Their children were now 40, 50 years old. And the parents were 70, 80 years old and they kept saying, what am I going to do with my child? when I can no longer care for them. Right now, those opportunities are very limited in New Jersey. We acquire properties that are vacant and abandoned, and they provide us the capital knowing that there'll be a new homeowner there. So they, they, they really understand the strategy of block-by-block -block development. We had this opportunity to get really what we thought was the key signature uh, property in the neighborhood, 70,000 square feet of vacant property that was uh, abandoned for 10 or 15 years. It was the number one on the fire department hit list in terms of violations. Uh, the police had come to this property more than any other property in Orange at that time. 
it had environmental contamination issues that were immeasurable. So we felt that if we could attack the problems of this particular property, this could be the igniter for developing similar properties on the neighborhood. This unmanageable seven or eight block property has become a destination point. It changes the, the look of the block. People feel safer. It also triggers other homeowners to fix up their properties. It, the money is really making a difference. When you fix one property, it's a big lift. I've seen it in my own neighborhood. When someone comes to me for a home, I don't just sell them a house. I mean, I tell them about our preschool program, our child care. If they have um, an elderly parent, they can come to our senior services. They need to have a place to live where they can feel safe and feel welcomed and feel uh, that they have a stake there. It's more space. I feel comfortable there. Is I feel safer there. Lower crime there than where I was at before. Some of the children of my friends can have some of those same memories that we used to have. Property values have actually increased in this area tremendously. The payoff is in seeing the community that I grew up in doing well. Traditionally, people with disabilities are isolated, and my vision was to promote inclusion so that they would become earning, productive members of the greater community. And our ongoing invitation to the public to purchase artwork created by our disabled consumers stimulates the economy. New Jersey Community Capital's financing was critical to making the Vector Building Project work. We combined services uh, that don't really pay for themselves, like infant toddler, uh, with other services like doctor's offices, uh, uh, a floor for Head Start. There are today uh, over 300 children and families who are served at this location in preschool alone, uh, not counting the ancillary services in the other buildings. Uh, that This began in 1991 with New Jersey Community Capital's first loan to UVSO as a center for 50 children. So that, that's evidence of how uh, creative and enterprising financing can help make things happen and help us to deliver on our mission of a, a stable and compassionate community. When they built this building, we were able to house more children. A lot of parents had children that they wanted to put into school, but we didn't have enough classes. The children get excited because they see children-sized things in here. When they come in um, to look around, the children don't want to leave. We have so much materials, things that they can do. They enjoy being here. A lot of these kids, they started out not wanting to come to school, not wanting to talk to people. I have a baby in my class now who, I don't want to say she didn't know how to love, but it was just like she wouldn't smile. All she did was cry. She always frowned her face up. Every day she comes in in the morning, she gives everybody a hug. It's an amazing thing to see the children grow. They're going to be so productive later on in life. The combined impact of all of those services is that what was a, a derelict, uh, abandoned structure has become a, a vital center for community service, and uh, that's an important change. Those are projects that have a long-lasting effect towards stabilizing the community, stabilizing the city. The public side can't provide everything that's needed to be provided for these types of projects. And that, that partnership, that public-private partnership, is very essential in making these projects happen. Newbridge feels very strongly about the mission of New Jersey Community Capital. And I think the way that Newbridge has tried to encourage that is that we were one of the first actual cash investors. The New Jersey Senate invested $100,000 in New Jersey Community Capital, which is a wonderful thing. We have individuals and organizations, religious organizations, corporations, um, they provide us with, in effect, a loan. Um, they loan us money for a period of time. Um, we turn around and relend it. Um, we provide those individuals and organizations that lend us money with a financial return. But more importantly, we provide them with tremendous amounts of social return. My wife and I are both investors in New Jersey Community Capital. And, you know, from our perspective, uh, 
You know, we see the good work that the organization does, and we see how that work is needed within our own community. You know, we live in suburban New Jersey, like most of the state. We live in a very good school district, low crime rates, but we, we see the need for New Jersey Community Capital's work even in our community. As we see continued constriction of these government resources, it's critical that we continue to find new resources and take advantage of the next opportunity. These opportunities aren't slowing down. The opportunity to build a future that never before existed. When we're able to move higher volumes of capital and continue to recycle that capital over and over again, um, we can have a demonstrable difference. By people invest in community capital, they are making an investment in human lives. When there's some financial investment and human investment of time and energy and creative vision, it's just a really magical thing that happens. I think that that's the hope for the future in New Jersey. We'd love to provide you information on how you can become a community investor. There's an array of opportunities. We've got expertise in-house on staff that would love to talk to you about different opportunities. There are ways in which we can do this so that you can fundamentally see the value of your dollars working for you and working for the communities that you're serving. People believing more and more every day, give back, give back, let's build a society, let's use the wealth that we have here in New Jersey, let's invest it back for those that could benefit from that investment. Nothing feels better than helping someone else.